hearing just five words in this sutra, you can shatter your afflictions due to the five dwellings. What are the afflictions of the five dwellings? They are affliction from dwelling in views and love, affliction from dwelling in desire and love, affliction from dwelling in form and love, affliction from dwelling in no form and love, and affliction from dwelling in ignorance. Loving something from seeing it and being attached to it is affliction from dwelling in views and love. Affliction from dwelling in desire and love means where there is desire, there is affliction. Where there is love, there is affliction. Without love, there is no hatred, which means no afflictions. No love, no hatred, and no afflictions. Affliction from dwelling in form and love means attachment to objects to a form. Affliction from dwelling in no form and love occurs in the formless realm. These, along with the affliction from dwelling in ignorance, make up the afflictions of the five dwellings. Encountering the Earth Star Sutra, you can eliminate the afflictions of the five dwellings and transcend transmigration in the five destinies. There are actual six types of beings, but asuras are scattered among the various destinies, so we say the five destinies. This sutra can also bind and develop your five roots, which grow the five powers. The five roots are the roots of faith, diligence, mindfulness, samadhi, and wisdom. The five powers are the powers of faith, diligence, mindfulness, samadhi, and wisdom. These um, develop the five aspects of the Dharma body, which are precept, samadhi, wisdom, plus liberation, and liberated knowledge and views. One can acquire the five aspects of the Dharma body since one is liberated even from one's knowledge and views. They may transcend through one gate and enter a wonderful and adorned path by hearing the principles contained in a verse or a sentence of this sutra. They will then acquire the perfectly bright nature that is one of the perfectly bright sea of nature. There are many principles contained herein, but I am just saying some of these terms for you. We will talk about it when we have the opportunity in time. As a result, they will enjoy particularly wonderful peace and happiness in this present life through thousands of millions of future lives. They will always be handsome or beautiful. Some people do not look right. For instance, they are born with a monkey head, a face of a horse, or, a, or eyes like a rat. The Chinese describe someone ugly with terms like a rabbit head, snake eyes, red ears, and eagle cheeks. Someone does not look good when they have the features of many animals on them. Now you, however, have upright features, and they will be born into honorable and wealthy families. Those who are rich and noble have virtue. People without virtue are poor and lowly because they had the standard the triple jewel. Those who are born in respectable and elite families are virtuous individuals. Having heard the Buddha first come one praise the earth star bodhisattva in that way, universal expansive bodhisattva knelt and placed his palms together. Some sutras say they kneel to each other. Kneeling here means Genuflecting the right knee only and not the left knee. The way we kneel with both knees on the ground while we recite the sutra is not as difficult as kneeling with one knee, one knee on the ground. The Buddha allowed women to kneel with both knees on the ground, but men may only genuflect with one knee. Newly ordained bishops in the Sri Lanka and Burmese traditions 
see the moths and new pictures and new ways they are right new. Novices can not look at pictures. They lower their heads even if they are kneeling. Neither men nor women can look at elders casually. Universal expansive put his palms together and again and again addressed the Buddha, saying, "Want honored one, I have long known that this Bodhisattva has both inconceivable spiritual powers and mighty vows. I have questioned the thirst come on so that beings in the future could all know of these benefits from earth stalking Bodhisattva. I now receive your answer most respectfully. Word honored one, what should the title of the sutra be? Of this sutra be and how should we propagate it? How do I, universally expansive and other Bodhisattvas, circulate and distribute this Earth Sutra. We may print more of this Sutra so that everyone knows about it. The Buddha Shakyamuni said to Universally Expansive, This Sutra has three titles. The first is the Past Vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva. It is also called Earth Star's Past Conduct and also Sutra of the Power of Earth Star's Past Vows. Because this Bodhisattva repeatedly makes such great and mighty vows throughout long ends to benefit beings. He wants to benefit all beings. I tell you, the way to practice the Bodhisattva path is to do whatever benefits living beings and avoid any that harms living beings. If it is helpful, I am will to I am willing to give away even my head to someone. If it is harmful, I refuse to give away even one hair of mine. I according to this kind of vow. You should all propagate the sutra in accordance with them. Circulate the Earth Star Sutra according to the vows of Earth Star Bodhisattva. Circulate and distribute the Earth Star Sutra according to nature of your Bodhisattva's vows. After universally expansive Bodhisattva had heard that, he placed his palms together respectfully, gazed up at Shakyamuni Buddha, respectfully made obeisance and withdrew to the side.